<laughs> Y'all know what it is. So what's nice with tech is you can either self-learn it. Um, and I, I mean that you can entirely be self-taught if that is your mode of learning. Um, and you want to learn everything on your own. There are just I can't even describe the amount of resources on the internet that you can go through to do that and, and largely for free. Um, you could take a couple quick classes. Like uh, I, I love attending uh, reacttraining.com's um, sessions. I think they're fantastic. Uh, and that's like a 350 or $500, you know, eight hour session or whatever to really level up your skills. Um, there's definitely ways to do that. Or in my opinion, I really enjoy boot camps. I like the pace. I knew some tech and I'd self-taught quite a bit, but I needed somebody to, to really get me caught back up. Right. Cause it had been 15 years before I really had worked, worked on anything technical. And so it was like, all right, I know a lot's changed. Let me get caught back up to speed. So for me, the boot camp is the right formula because it was, um, three months. It was, uh, very intense, lots of knowledge, a lot of self-learning tied on top of it. Um, I had instructors, I had classmates, I need to talk when I'm learning. I need to be able to have a conversation, share back with you what I heard so that I can make sure that I'm understanding what it is. So for me, that was my style of learning. So anybody that has that need, I think boot camps are a great solution. If you're like an amazing reader and you read for context really well and you can remember everything and read documentation and things like that, you might just do it on your own. It's totally up to you. Um, I thought the boot camp fit the bill for me in a lot of ways. It was the timing of it the cost of it because I wasn't going to spend four years and Lord knows how much money to go to a traditional four-year school wasn't going to happen at 35, uh, three months and 15 grand sounded like a lot better deal to me. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then, yeah, well, and I wanted to say too, just for the people who were technical first, right. So they wanted sure. to do the boot camp because they're passionate about technology and maybe those soft skills aren't their thing. I think being thrown into an environment too, especially if you could do it in person, where you can develop a little camaraderie, yep. camaraderie, a little spirit of teamwork or, you know, and start to, you know, develop some brains that you have resources that you can talk to one another. Even if you're not ready for public speaking by the time you're done, you know, you will have developed over the course of these 12 weeks or however long your course is, you know, you'll have developed some friendships and relationships and, yep. you know, maybe so-and-so gets recruited off to Adobe and you get to go along or you can ask for a, a referral or yep. whatever. I still so talk I think with, that, you know, you're, yeah. you're working on both sides of that coin at the same time, even if it doesn't feel like I'm, I'm still, I still talk with several of my classmates to see where they're at these days. I know that if I ever wanted to look for another job, I've got a pretty good network of people now that I could go through. And the boot camp was a great, um, great source of that. My class was really small. My class was about 10 people at the time, but typically it's more like 20 people in a class. So I was kind of actually sad that we only had 10 people in the class, even though you get a little more instructor one-on-one -on -one time or whatever. I, cause to me, it was that whole concept of network building, right? Like I know that they're going to land jobs and we're going to be able to reach out and we've bonded over this experience because it is a very, excuse me, challenging um, experience. Right. And you do bond over it. It's not, it's not trauma, right? Like it's not trauma bonding, but it's close. You know, it's, it's, yeah. it's in the trenches together going through something really difficult and everybody in that class uh, more or less is making a life change. So you really do bond over that. You know? Yeah. Well, and it's sort of akin to working in a, in a development department in a company as well. I mean, even though it's short term by design, you know, I mean, the people you're working with, you're all trying to so solve the same challenges, right? It's as if you were all working on the same piece of software together. Yeah. And so, I mean, everybody's learning the same thing. You're all going at the same pace and some may have an advantage or a disadvantage or whatever, but together you can all do it. And, uh, and so I think, you know, the, the amount of things that you pull out of it, you know, back to this point about soft skills, I think are, are probably, you know, as valuable or, or equally as valuable as the technology that you're learning. Yeah. And I think, um, you know, the price tag, uh, some people will bulk out right away, right? It's 15 ish thousand dollars when I took it. I don't know what the cost is down. So please don't quote me on that. But um, I think I spent about 15 on it. Um, that was scary for, for a minute. I ended up taking a private student loan out for it. And actually, that's what um, connected Mike and I was I had made a post saying, hey, I finally paid off or not finally, I paid off my student loan a year and a half early. And that was just a really big capstone moment. Like, hey, you knew that you had a problem in your life. You made a plan, you took action, you followed through on it. 
and look, you paid it off. Not only did you pay off your responsibility, you paid it off ahead of time because you're doing well. You know, that was a really cool moment for me. And I had to take a pause and just kind of reflect on it a little bit of, wow, that was a major life change. And I feel like I've kind of like fully turned the page, right? I feel like I was in the middle of turning that page for, you know, a good year, year and a half or whatever. And now I'm like, no, I'm in this. I did this. I feel good. I'm happy. I work for a company that appreciates me. It says thank you for things, let alone writes bonuses. And like, I, I had gotten COVID at one point and they immediately hit me on Slack and were like, oh my God, what do you need? Can we send you groceries? Can we do this? Can we, you know, it's just that moment of like, okay, you did it. You're around people that care about you. And it was just a really cool like moment of reflection. Like, all right, like we can do this.